Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So from our previous class, uh, previous video, we have learned about the binomial expansion. Just take note that binomial expansion subtopic will be asked in GCSE examination but will not be asked in SPM. Um, so the second subtopic uh, we're going to have a look is arithmetic progression and the third one should be geometric progression. Take note that both of these, arithmetic progression and geometric progression subtopic, will be asked in both SPM and GCSE examination. In today's video, we are going to focus on the second subtopic, which is the arithmetic progression. So before we start with the arithmetic progression, we... Need to we are going to have a look on the definition of sequence and series. Okay. So start off with the definition of sequence. What is sequence or also known as progression? Okay. Um, sequence is a set of number with a finite order obeying certain rule. For example, if we have a set of sequence um, set of numbers say 1 3 5 7 9 and so on by observation we can see that to get the next number we need to add 2 to the previous number so from the second term to the third term we need to add 2 and to get from the third term to the fourth term again we need to add 2 and from the fourth term to the fifth term again we need to add 2 so uh, basically uh, this is a sequence that obeys certain rule to get to the next number we need to add 2 from the to the previous number okay so this is the rule and this is the sequence Okay. Um, plus two is also known as common difference. Okay. Um, the next thing uh, we are going to look at the term. The first term. If for G, C, S, E, the first term is represented by the symbol U1. For SPM, we use T1, which means that second term uh, is going to be U2 or T2. Third term, U3 or T3. So, which means that if we have the nth term for GS, GCSE, we should represent that by UN. For SPM, we should represent that by TN. Okay. So, this is generally UN or TN. And in this case, in this example, from the previous example, we can see that U1 or T1 is just equals to 1 u2 or t2 is just equals to 3 u3 or t3 is just equals to 5 and so on so basically that is sequence now we go to the meaning of series okay when we talk about series series is the sum of 
sorry, the sum of terms of a sequence. For example, from this example, if you have S1, it's just U1, which is just equals to 1. S2 is equals to U1 plus U2, which is just equals to 1 plus with, in this case, U2 is just 3. So 1 plus 3, which is just equals to 4. S3 is U1 plus U2 plus U3, which is equals to 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is equals to 9. Or also, take note that we can also write, because U1 plus U2 is equals to S2, you can see that, plus with U3, which is just equals to 4, plus with U3 is 5, which is equals to 9. We will get the same answer, basically. Uh, just take note on that. From here, we can see that if we have S n, it's just a sum or u of u one plus u two plus u three up until u n. Okay, so that is the definition of series, and normally series is represented by the letter S. This is standard for GCSE and SPM. Now let's have a look at the types of sequence, also known as progression. There are two types. The first one is arithmetic progression, or also known as AP as a short form. And the second one is geometric progression, also known as GP as a short form. So in this, in today's video, we are going to cover arithmetic progression or AP. Arithmetic progression, also known as AP. By definition, is a sequence where the difference between each term and its previous term is a constant. What does it mean? If you look at example of an AP, you can see that from the first term to the second term, we need 2 plus 2. And from the second term, eh, sorry, plus 4. And from the second term to the third term, we need to also plus 4. And then from the third term and to the fourth term, uh, we need to, again, it add 4. If you look at example B, from the first term to the second term, we need to minus 3. From the second term to the third term, we need to minus 3 again. From the third term to the fourth term, minus 3. Similarly, for the, the fourth term to the fifth term, we need to minus 3. So, this plus 4 and minus 3 is known as common different. Okay, So, we can say that uh, this sequence is is an arithmetic progression with common difference plus four. Okay. Uh, similarly, for B, this is also an AP.
is an arithmetic progression with common difference of negative 3. So again, by definition, um, AP is just a sequence where the difference between each term and its previous term is a constant. You can see the difference from one term to another term is a constant. In the first case, A, the common difference is 4. In the second uh, sequence, the common difference is negative 3. Therefore, a uh, common difference or can be represented by the letter, small letter D. It's just equals to D and plus one kth term minus with D and kth term. Okay. Um, it's just one term minus with previous term. Then we'll get the common difference. Take note that the value of common difference D cannot be 0. So which means that if you have a sequence of 1, 1, 1, 1, this is not a this is not an AP because if you want to consider a sequence to be an AP, you must make sure that there is a value for the common difference. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at example. Show that 7 over 4. Uh, show that this sequence is an AP and state its common difference. So if you want to show that a certain sequence is an AP, then we need to prove that. How do we prove? Um, let me do it this way. Uh, given um, u1 is equals to 7 over 4, u2 is equals to 25 over 12, and u3 is equals to 29 over 12. If this sequence is an AP then we must have U2 minus with U1 must also equals to U3 minus U2 if we can prove this then only we can say the sequence is an AP so we have to check basically it's logical enough to say that if this is an AP, then the difference between the first term and the second term should equal to the difference between the second term and the third term. So now we check U2 minus U1, which is just 25 over 12 minus with 7 over 4. Let me do it this way. Alright, uh, U2 minus u1 is just equals to 25 over 12 minus with 7 over 4 and pressing your calculator you should get 4 over 12 or 1 over 3 and then you check for u3 minus u2 okay so that that, that one that part there u3 minus u2 is 29 over 12 minus 25 over 12 we should get um, 4 over 12 which is equal to 1 over 3 so since u2 minus u1 is just equals to u3 minus u2 then which is equal to 1 over 3 this then we can say that this sequence is an AP proven okay, it's proven and that is the first part of the question the second part is state its common difference 
obviously d is just equals to 1 over 3 the common difference okay going back to the formula of common difference right before that let me shrink that first if you look at the formula of the common difference, is this is just um, we can say that d is just equals to t two minus t one, or maybe um, t three minus t two, or maybe t four minus t three, or maybe t five minus t four. That is, we use T in SPM. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm used to use T. Okay, we can also use U. Okay, so which means that uh, common difference is just U2 minus U1 or U3 minus U2 or U4 minus U3 and so on. Uh, so we use the symbol U in GCSE but for SPM, you can use D equals to T2 minus T1 or T3 minus T2 or T4 minus T3. It's the same thing. Basically, it's just the same thing. So if you want to find a common difference, then you take one term minus with the previous term, then you'll get the common difference. All right. So I hope this is clear. Now let's have a look at the nth term of an arithmetic progression. So suppose that we want to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. In GCSE, again, we use the symbol UN. But for SPM, we use the symbol TM. And basically, both are the same um, formula. So UN or the nth term is just equals to a a is the first term okay first term or u1 and um, d is the common difference or uh, or d okay common difference d so let's have a look at examples suppose we have an ap 3 comma 7 over 2 comma 4 and it is already stated that this is an arithmetic progression so they want you to find the value of u6 first we can find the common difference okay so if you look at d it's just maybe you can take t2 minus t1 which is just 7 over 2 minus with um, 3 which is equals to 1 over 2 so the common difference is 1 over 2 if you minus t3 minus t2, let's just check, equals to 4 minus 7 over 2, you should get the same value 1 over 2. But you don't have to do both, just do 1. It's enough. Okay, so the question asks you to find u6. So u6, u n by by the formula up here u n is just equals to a plus n minus one times with d since we want u six so it's just equals to a and a is the first term or u one in this case our u one is three plus six minus one times with d is one over two so you press your calculator you should get 5 1 over 2 okay that is your u6 so un 
un is just equals to a plus n minus 1 times 50 so our a is 3 sorry 3 plus n minus 1 times 50 is 1 over 2 in this case you need to expand the bracket so it becomes 3 plus um, 1 over 2 n minus with 1 over 2 and you can simplify that so uh, basically 3 minus 1 over 2 plus with 1 over 2 n and 3 is just equals to 6 over 2 minus 1 over 2 plus with 1 over 2 n so we have 5 over 2 plus with 1 over 2 n can we simplify furthermore I think we can um, so basically the denominator is the same so it's just 5 plus n over 2 all right so again uh, the nth term of n arithmetic progression is represented by this formula and this formula will be given in your examination so not to worry you don't have to remember you just need to understand what those letters represent okay again un is just the nth term a is just the first term and d is just the common difference here i just want you to take note on take note on a certain pattern that will be produced if you notice um, u1 is just a u2 is just a plus with the common difference u3 is just a plus with 2 times common difference and u4 just equals to a plus with 3d okay so the pattern goes on uh, like that um, this observation of pattern might be useful when you need to answer certain question in the examination so just take note take note on the pattern Okay, the next one, we are going to learn the formula to find the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic progression. So, Sn. Take note that, what does it mean by Sn? We know that S1 is just equals to U1. If we have S2, this is just equals to U1 plus U2. And S3 is just equals to U1 plus u2 plus u3 therefore sn is just equals to u1 plus u2 plus u3 up until un and we know a is the first term or u1 and d is the common difference um, this is the first formula the second formula you can use is similar it's just that the difference is we use L is the last term if in the sequence the last term is given then you can use the second formula okay note that we can also find the nth term by using sn minus sn minus one okay how do we apply that let's have a look example you have a certain sequence u1 u2 u3 you want to find 
U3, the third term. Okay, if you want to find U3, means that U3 is just equal to U1 plus U2 plus U3. Wait. So to find U3 is just S3 minus with S2. Why? That's why I say you can use the formula Sn minus with Sn minus 1. If this is 3, then this is 3 minus 1, which is just 2. Okay? And why is that? Remember, S3 is just equals to U1 plus U2 plus U3. Minus with S2 is just U1 plus U2. And basically, if you open the bracket, so negative positive minus U1, negative positive minus U2. So U1 with minus U1, we can cancel out that. U2 with minus U2, you can cancel out that. Leaves us with U3. So which means that if you want to find a certain term, say UN, you can use the formula SN minus with S, that N minus 1. In this case, you want to find U3. You can use S3 minus with S2. If you want to find U4, you can use S5 minus with S4. Okay? Right. Let's have a look at the example. Given a certain AP. So it is stated that this is an arithmetic progression. So we can actually find the common difference. So our D is just equals to... Um, u2 minus u1 or you can also use u3 minus u2 so which is just equals to 6 1 over 2 minus 3 which is 3 1 over 2 okay so the question is once the question wants us to find the sum of the first 20 terms means that we need to find s 20 okay so by formula if you look at the first formula we do not have the last term. We do not have the last term. So we don't use the second formula. We use the first formula. According to the formula, Sn is equals to n over 2 times with 2a plus n minus 1d. So what you need, you just need to substitute the um, value inside the formula. So in this case, our n is equals to 20 over 2 times with 2 times with a, our a is 3, plus with n, our n is 20, minus 1 times with d, our d is 3, 1 over 2, if you change to um, improper fraction, it should be 7 over 2, so times with 7 over 2. So just insert the value inside this formula here. So press your calculator. You should get 10. Okay. So basically, in this case, again, I will repeat. We have S S n equals to n over 2 times with 2a plus n minus 1 times with d. Okay, so in this case, our n is equals to 20. Our a is equals to 3. a is 3. And our d is equals to 7 over 2. So substitute this value inside the formula and you press your calculator, you'll get the answer. So the sum of the first 20 terms is equals to 20. Okay, let's look at uh, a few example questions. Example number one, three consecutive terms of an AP are x plus 1, 2x plus 3, and 6, which means that 
this is your u1 this is your u2 and this is your u3 because three consecutive terms okay so it means that assume that x plus one is your u1 and 2x plus 3 is your two, u2 and 6 is your u3 find the value of x and we know that uh, the relationship between uh, these three terms is the common difference we can say that um, u2 minus u1 is just equals to u3 minus u2 since this is an ap so this is your d and also this is also your d so u2 is 2x plus 3 minus with um, x plus 1 it's just equals to 6 minus with 2x plus 3 um well i don't think we need to Oh yeah, that's that's the way we do it. Uh, so expand and simplify. So this is just two x plus three minus x minus one. Okay, negative positive negative negative positive negative. So this is just six negative positive negative two x negative positive negative three. Okay, so. 2x and minus x becomes x 3 minus 1 becomes plus 2 6 minus 3 becomes 3 so minus 2x so what you need to do here bring everything with x to one side and without x to another side so it means that I'll bring that one to the left hand side and plus 2 I'll bring to the right hand side so it becomes x plus 2x because going across equality you would need to change the symbol okay so it becomes x plus 2x equals to 3 plus 2 going across equality symbol so it becomes minus 2 so in this case 3x is equals to 3 minus 2 1 so x is just equals to 1 over 3. Okay, now let's have a look at this question. Find the number of terms for the following AP. And so it is given a sequence which is an arithmetic progression. And you know that this is your U1, this is your U2, this is your U3 and it goes to the last term which is u n we don't know so we don't know what is the last term and uh, what is the number of terms so we want to find the number of terms means that we want to find value of n okay so we want to know how many terms there are in the in this sequence such that m plus 18k is the last term okay what you need to do here we can use the formula of the nth term of ap is denoted by the formula u n equals to a plus n minus one times with d okay such that a is the first term and d is the common difference okay so first step maybe you can find the value of d or the expression for d d is just maybe you can use u2 minus u1 which is just equals to in this case u2 is m minus with u1 is m minus 2k so open the bracket so it becomes negative positive negative m negative negative plus 2k so negative negative positive so m minus m is just equals to zero so we cancel out that one so leaves us with 
2k or step number one step number two given that un this is our un is equals to m plus 18k and we know that m plus 18k is just equals to this whole formula our a in this case is m minus 2k because m minus 2k is the first term plus with n minus 1 that is the one that we want to find times with d our d is 2k so we open the bracket m minus 2k positive positive plus n positive negative minus oh sorry um so this is just equals to m minus 2k plus if you need to multiply inside first so 2k minus uh multiply with n becomes 2k n 2k multiply with negative 1 becomes um, negative 2k so this is m plus 18k so uh now simplify things i'll bring m and m can be cancelled out so leaves us with 18k equals to okay negative 2k minus with negative 2k becomes negative 4k plus 2k n and remember you can only add or minus with like terms okay since negative 2k and negative 2k are like terms we can um, add or multiply so minus 2k minus 2k becomes minus 4k and now we bring minus 4k to the left hand side becomes 18k plus with 4k because it goes across equality symbol change the symbol okay so right hand side becomes 2k n so 18k plus 4k becomes 22k equals to 2k n so therefore n is just equals to 22k divided by 2k k and k we can cancel out 22 divided by 2 becomes 11 so n equals to 11 therefore we can conclude that there are 11 number of terms okay so there are 11 number of terms in the sequence The next question, um, find the sum of all multiples of 7 between 300 and 950. Uh, maybe we can try an error to, to find the first term, which is a multiples of 7 um, after 300, and the last term, which is the multiples of 7 below 950. Maybe we can start with 300 divided by 7. <coughs> So 300 is not divisible by 7, we will get 42.8, so that is not the first term. How about 301 divided by 7? We get 43, so 301 is divisible by 7, therefore we can say that the first term is equals to 301. Okay, now we try for 950 divided by 7. We'll get 135.7, so that is not an option. 949 divided by 7. We'll get 135.5.6. So this is also not an option. Let's try 145 
divided by 7. Eh, sorry, 945 divided by 7. So we we'll get 135. Yes, that is an option. So we can see that 945 as our last term. Okay, which is L. Because in this case, we can use that. There are two formulas to find the number of terms. Um, the first one is Sn equals to um, N over 2 times with 2A plus N minus 1 times with D. Or you can also use the formula um, Sn equals to N over 2. times with A plus L, okay? So which formula you want to use? You can use the first one or the second one. But in this case, I think I will use the second one since we have the value of L, which is the last term. And that one is um, the first term. So, um, yes, we have um, U1, we have the last term, but we do not have N. So, what we need to do, we need to find N first. Given that formula for N, UN is equal to A times with N minus 1 um, plus with, sorry, un is equals to let me double check okay a plus n minus one times with d and we know that our d is equals to seven because it's multiples of seven so our common common difference is seven and a is just 301 because the first term is 301 and UN is 945. So, 945 is equals to okay, 301 plus with N minus 1 times with 7. So, expand and simplify. Plus we have seven n minus seven, so seven n is equals to. Okay, let me do it this way. Three hundred one minus seven. Two hundred and ninety four. Plus we have seven n. So 7n is equals to 945 divided by, sorry, 945 minus with 294. So n is just equals to 945 minus 294 divided by 7. So n is equals to... 93 okay so therefore we use this formula here so s 93 is equals to 93 over 2 times with our a is 301 and our l is 945 so you should get Fifty seven thousand nine hundred and thirty nine. Okay, next, this is our last example. Um, the sum of the first n terms of n a p is given by this formula. So, um, it is given a formula 
which is this the first the sum of the first n term so you do not need to use uh, the formula given before just use the formula given in this question okay question a fine the first term and we know that s1 is just u1 and we know s2 is u1 plus u2 but they ask for the first term so we just need to find s1 so s1 equals to u1 which is equals to 8 times 1 minus with 3 times 1 to the power of 2 so 8 minus 3 the answer is 5 okay next find the common difference so b wants us to find the value of d and we know that d is just equals to maybe u2 minus u1 so here we already have our u1 which is just 5 okay we need to find our u2 how to find u2 we know that um S1 is equals to U1. S2 is equals to U1 plus with U2. Okay. So if you want to find U2, means that you just find S2 minus U1. Or also, you can also write as U2 equals to S2 minus U1. It's just S1. Okay. So S2 from the formula here, S2 is 8 times 2 minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2. That is S2. Okay. Minus with S1. S1 is just 5. Okay. So minus with 5. So what you need to do is you need to press your calculator. Eight times two. So it is negative one. Okay. Um, so D is equals to U2 minus one. Since we have our U2, our u2 is negative 1 minus with u1 is 5 so the common difference is negative 6 okay i think we stop here for this video um, i hope my video helped you uh, to understand the basic of doing arithmetic progression you should try um, more exercises uh, to see uh, the pattern you know to see on how to solve uh, different questions involving the arithmetic progression chapter or subtopic um, that's all for today um, bye bye